What up, YouTube? Cool story, bro. Back here with the 72nd narrated Pokemon Showdown battle. I'm just like digging through my old bookmarks. I, I I be saving these battles to my bookmarks, and then not be doing nothing with them afterwards. It's like, what am I doing with my life? So I'm just going back through these old battles I had saved from last generation. And you can sort of treat this as me paying homage to the the you you that made me. <laughs> you get it? The you that made the you. Yes. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, this is a uh, this is back with this team. You know, with the with the cat turning the girder. This is this is my this is one of my favorite teams. And when you see this game, you're gonna be quite amused. You're gonna be quite amused at how this plays out. Like, like, like if you forgot how this team plays out, it substitute three tax cat turn walls the crap out of slow bro. Okay, like like sucker punch, focus punch, C bomb substitute, scarf chandelure, offensive life orb, Zapdos, bulk up girder. Screw Scrafty. We gird her now, cause mock punch. Um especially defensive slow king. This was back in my team when it was in its early stages before I picked up my low tick. Honestly, I might go with Slow King again. I don't know. It's I mean, if I ever were to use this team again, maybe I would put Slow Bro back Slow King back on. Cause it does a heck of a better job at checking Kingdra than my low tick does. And and then Rhyperior, this it's Rhyperior. Come on. Anyway, his team. Hypnotops the spinner. Slowbro is some type of physical tank of some sort. Hair cross. Most of them are usually scarfed. I'm pretty sure I was assuming his is scarfed. Porygon Z. It looked like it was an offensive set, possibly with download or adaptability and tri attack. I doubt he would be choice. It looks like he could have just been agility or nasty plot. Because, I mean, when you look at the team, like, does, does Tank Growth get Stealth Rock? I don't think it does. I don't know. He's going rockless, I guess. He's going rockless. Dustclops is like. Just this big momentum killing wall of tank thing here, who actually does a little bit of work this battle, which we'll soon see. And tank growth is uh, dang, I don't know, it's a tank growth. <laughs> it, it it does what a tank growth does, which by my assumption is leech seed or sleep powder and switching out and whatnot. Anyway, this dude's got a lot of physical tanks here, like no specials, but it's whatever. L let me just begin this. Let me, I'm boring you to death. I lead off with Big Bird Zapdos. He leads off with his Dust Clops. I thunderbolt him. It does jack like 30, almost 32 percent, and he substitutes. So he's the annoying sub curse set, I'm assuming. Or, well, sub split to be more accurate. And I break his sub. I get the critical hit with the earthquake, and he burns me. Will o wisp? Crap. This ain't looking good. So I just decide to set up my rocks here. Unfortunately, I didn't carry Roar on my Rhyperior. I had Dragon Tail, and Dragon Tail is not gonna break his subs no time soon. So I gotta stay in and fight him. Otherwise, just get annoyed by this dust clops all day. Like, I'll sack my Rhyperior because I really don't need it for this guy's team. Like, everything on his team actually beats Rhyperior, save for, like, maybe Porygon Z. And it's, it's, that's about it. <laughs> so, I'm not worried about it. So, I send in Carlos, Chandelure, Shadowstone, Stuck, Shadow Ball. He paints splits, you know, and he, assu he assumes I'm choice, which I am because I'm scarfed. Switches in Porygon Z. Good play, good play. And I'm sending King David, slow king. But he tricks me and shows me he was indeed Specs Porygon Z. And but unfortunately he just gave Specs to a Slow King. Who two two it KOs you with Scald and takes your Thunderbolt. <laughs> Good job, bruh. Good job. You get burnt with the Scald or the Sclad I should say, because it burned him. And just knock him out. Waste of a um waste of a uh, Porygon Z. I switch out, predicting Sucker Punch or something. But he makes the good, or predicting rapid spin rather from his hit on top. But he makes a good play and toxics me, and it kills me with a critical sucker punch. Honestly, I was thinking of using Trick, and I really should have, cause Scarf Chandelure isn't gonna outpace Scarf Hair Cross anyway. But I don't know. I don't really care that much. Although Chandelure could definitely have done some work against the rest of his team, and tricking a hit on top of Scarf would have been funny. But you know, I didn't think about it. It's besides the point. So basically, he toxics my big bird. I roost off just as he switches out the Tangrowth to try to sponge a Thunderbolt, but then I heat wave him. Bam, Tangrowth's dead before it could ever do a thing. And you just let it die. You should feel ashamed. So I'm going to send in King David again because, you know, Slow King is now kind of useless this battle because he can't use Slack Off and he has to rely on Regenerator for recovery. So I'm just going to let him die here trying to break the Dust Clops to substitute. Like, long as I just break the sub by the time Slow King dies, I should not have an issue. But unfortunately, Dust Clops outspeeds Slow King. 
well, I mean, his name is Slow King, so what else can you expect, right? <laughs> so Slow King dies off, sending Big Bird, Thunderbolt, Break, the Substitute, Life Orb, and Toxic Damage hurts. He tries to Pain Split, but this is why I sent him Big Bird, because I'm at a low enough HP that even if he Pain Splits, he's not getting anything back. Kills me off with a Seismic Toss. I send him Cractus, and this is where the work gets put in. Substitute up, predicting the Willow Wisp. Got him! Got him! Seed Bomb him, finish him off before he could do Jack. Got him! Got him with it! He sends in Hypnotop, Sucker Punch. No, get that out of here. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> he sends in Heracross. I charge up a Focus Punch because that's the hardest hitting move I have against this thing, even though it resists all three of my attacks. So, it does like a nice little, like, one third of his health, just a little bit. Mega Horn's me, I'm assuming he's choice, so he's locked in a Mega Horn, who is walled by a girder. I predict Slowbro to come in, so I'm going to use Payback. It's not going to do a lot to Slowbro, even with a crit, but, you know, it's just the damage I'm getting off on Slowbro. Who is walled by Cacturn, who gives me a free switch in, and in turn, a free substitute. And <laughs> just like that, now I'm taking another third off that hair across his HP with his Focus Punch. He's not doing it. He's not doing it, though. And then I get the critical focus punch on him just cause it shortens the battle by a significant margin. <laughs> and basically he has Slowbro who's wall flat by this thing. But he wants to be that guy. He wants to be that guy. He wants to sit here and try to actually fight this one out. Which is kind of honorable except for the fact that you're going to sit here and you slack off because I'm paralyzed. When I could just sit here and kill you and you can't do anything to me. Like, <laughs> it's just funny. Don't, don't do that. I mean, this, this, like, in the last battle I had with this team that I uploaded, I think, I mentioned that some other dude was trying to slack off instead of just straight up forfeiting right away, and I think it was this guy, but that's besides the point now, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but anyway, yeah, that was it, he forfeits here, and that is good game, Kalibek. Uh, like I said, this is a pretty old battle, and as you can see, I was playing on my bro Baddington alt, I was testing this team out, and this was actually a pretty funny game. I'm not gonna lie, and I would love to bring this team back. Maybe I will someday. I don't know. I'm lazy, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite. I'm out of here.